Sorry there, camera cut out. Um, I kind of feel like he, uh, Jesus is going down the path of Negan in the first episode of like, I don't want any of my people to die and stuff like that. So I don't know why it was kind of a weird thing to do. Um, of like, don't kill anyone. We gotta, we gotta keep them alive. I did like the guy who though um, uh, made himself pee his pants because he was so um, because he just wanted to kind of overpower them. But I do like how um, the guy just goes, whips around, and holds the gun at Jesus. And then Jesus is like, um, she's going to shoot you now. And then he's like, oh, well, go right ahead. Stuff like that. And then Jesus, Jesus is just so calm throughout the whole thing. He's just like, okay, this is going to happen. Um, and then, then somehow they get that gun back, and Jesus does nothing. Uh, that took a lot of restraint for Jesus, clearly, of where he does not point that, um, well, he points the gun at him, but he does not shoot him. I was like, oh my god, what? Whoa, I was so surprised that he did not shoot him. Um, and that he told, um, what's her name there, to not shoot anybody, really. And then he told the whole group, we're not going to shoot anyone here. We took them all prisoner, basically, but no. Don't shoot any of them. I found that so bizarre and weird. And then that ending, though, and um, the very, very ending of this episode with, um, oh, God, it's been so long. Um, it's been so long since anyone has actually seen him. Um, he was actually, if you do not remember, um, of where he is from, uh, he's actually from the first season. He is one of the people at the camp. I found that so amazing that he's actually still alive. Because in the comics, they do not bring him back. Um, and they, they don't even talk about him. Anyways, they don't mention that family at all. Um, but I was like, whoa, he's alive? I kind of want to though now know, is he the only one alive from his family? from his group is or is his wife and his children still alive and are they back at the the basically the home base because um the one guy was in there um he could have been lying anyways um because the guy who forcibly peed himself um he was in there saying that his wife and his children were back at um basically the home base um like i want to know is this guy's family back at their home base because he is from season one and he was um the one who when they leave for the cdc um i think i think they originally go off to the cdc that's like their plan um and they get to the cds um when they when they're splitting off to the cdc and they're gonna go find their family i don't even know where i think i can't remember where they were um where they were going to go find their family um, but that's where they're from, is, from season, um, one, is, um, they he's just coming back now. Um, I, I thought if they were actually ever going to bring him, if they were ever going to bring that family back, that they would have brought them back a little sooner, and that they would actually have found them, um, that Rick's group would have have, um, would have found them, instead of Negan's group. And now that just leaves a whole story behind them of how did they find Negan? How did they get involved with anything here? And um, clear, but clearly we already see that um, that this guy um, that has kind of trusted Rick very much has already turned and that he is already on Negan's side and that he is one of those people um, that if Negan came around and said, what's your name? That he would immediately be like, I am Negan. I feel, um, I totally feel like that's how, who he's become now, is the person who would be like, I am Negan, and immediately bow down to him, and try to, and I, I kind of understand where he's coming from, of if his family actually still alive, is still alive, then you kind of can feel of like, okay, yeah, if my family was in that kind of danger, I would probably bow down too, so I could keep them alive and keep them safe and stuff like that, so I could, I could totally see that, of like, why they were doing that, um, but that, that was just insane for him to just come back and be like, oh, I called the saviors. And 
just just makes you want to just keep on watching. But you, you got to wait a whole week for the next episode to come out. Um, but yeah, so episode two, pretty amazing. Um, the ending, awesome. And so, yeah, um, if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any comments, except for you, Louie, because I know you're going to comment something stupid on this, um, leave a comment down below. Um, and if you want to see other videos other than just Walking Dead Mondays, and you want me to do something else, like, weekly on, like, a certain day, leave a comment down below. If you want to see any other kind of video other than me ranting about Walking Dead, leave a comment down below. Whatever you, whatever your possible idea is, leave it down below and I will try to do whatever that video is that you want. Just, just leave that comment down below and it, don't, don't text me about this to all my friends out there who are watching this. Don't text me of the, these ideas. Leave them down below. I'm more likely to check the comments down below and actually make them into videos. So, yeah, if you want any kind of video, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya!